Hi, let's learn something about vocab. What is a vocab? It is nothing but a brain strong invention of voice stick for meeting the challenges of the disabled people to make them more enable. Vocab is nothing but an Android applications which is used for learning and relearning. It is used with the many varieties of disabled categories to give them knowledge and basically to enhance their vocabulary to overcome the disability. There are different types of disabilities if you look into. The disabilities depends on the age and the gender. Of course, disability doesn't have any gender bias, but it is an aging factor. If we look into a pediatric population that is towards the small kids, then the disabilities can be delayed speech and language. It can be due to hearing loss. It can be due to mentally challenged. It can be due to any other genetic problem. What is delayed speech and language then? Delayed speech and language means that you don't learn the language or you don't learn to speak at the time it has been needed. There is a delay. That means there can be several factors which can make a child to speak later on than the age the child is supposed to speak. Learning language is also a factor over there. If the child is not learning a proper language at a proper time, the child cannot express. The child cannot comprehend. The child cannot communicate. And that's where the vocab does a wonderful thing. If you have a delayed speech and language child, where the child needs a continuous language input, you the parent, or maybe the specialist, you may not have proper time for that particular child. If you are a professional, the child may be attending to you thrice in a week, four times in a week, just for a 30 minutes or one hour session. Or if you are a school teacher, the child may be with you for a few hours in the week. But is it a sufficient time for the child to learn the whole language? Not at all. If you are a parent, you may be a working parent. You may not have time for the child. So, what is the another solutions to it? The another simple solutions to it is to give an Android device to the child which is loaded with vocabularies in it and the child can play with it and the child can learn by himself or herself. There are so many vocabulary categories. You might say that how are you sure that the child is learning everything? It's true, very true. It is very difficult to teach the child each and everything of our daily living. But why not to teach the main items first, which we use into our daily living things? Since the morning we get up from the bed, till the time we go into the bed, have you ever thought of that how many kind of vocabulary items we come across? We come across about our daily living things, we come across about different eatables. We come across about the things we use. We come across the things available at home or in the surroundings. We come across about the things we study or we do in the educations. We come across about our entertainment. We also come across about socializations. That is, when you come to the home, you expect your child to come and give you a tight hug and to give you a lovely kiss and to say oh mama oh papa and you also say yes my darling how are you today so how do you communicate all such things for that you need a language if your language is not been understood by the child the child will never understand you and if you don't understand the child language you will try to teach the child something, but how? 
you need to go to a professionals. They are known in the market as a speech and language pathologist or maybe a special educator who will be teaching your child about how to do with the regular communications with you as well as with the environment the child is living in. But it may be expensive. You may not have a time behind it because your job you may not have the resource to go because you live in such a place where there is no one available. For all those things thinking, we have a solutions and that is nothing but the vocab in our androids. You learn it for the first time for the child and it's very easy to operate. And you teach the child, you give the child to play. Nowadays, we all have seen, we all say by ourselves that our children are more intelligent than us. A child of two years knows how to switch on or switch off using a remote control of a television set. A child of two years knows how to operate the mobiles. If we are busy parent at home, we don't have any caregiver for the child. What do we do if the child is crying? We keep the child in front of the child an Android device which has a moving picture. We switch on something moving picture in the televisions for the child. And then the child becomes very happy and pays the attention because the subject is moving. Picture is moving. They like always some moving objects. By thinking that in the mind, in the vocab, we have the videos. Along with the videos, we also have audios in that. And what happened? When the child sees it, I mean visualizes it, the child can feel it visually. The expressions different kind of different kind of actions are seen almost like a reality pictures in the videos we have also incorporated in vocab cartoons sometimes the children might get scared by seeing the real videos so there the parent or the speech therapist or the special educators will have an option to play the cartoons for the child Along with it, we also have a crystal clear pronounced audios into it. Vocab, which we thought to make it a reality for the total communications for any kind of delayed speech and language children, whether they have hearing loss, mentally challenged, or in fact, even sometimes with a visually challenge also because the audio is so clear that it can be also learned through the audio mode. It's really becoming a reality learning of vocabulary process in a children while learning the language. It came into my mind while practicing for the last 20 years that we need something concrete for the total communications. And when I had narrated it to my friend, Mr. Devan Vartak, the CEO of Voice Tech, Devan also agreed with me in a practice of last 17 years in the field of speech and language pathology as a manufacturer, software developer, that yes, we should have something which will really help any delayed speech and language to learn in reality, a total communication process. We went beyond and beyond and beyond. We not only stopped ourselves to think of delayed speech and language, we have also made it for autistic children with some sensory integrations part in it, putting up different colors, putting up some sensory lightings. We have also incorporated the vocab same program to be used with stroke patients that is the aphasics. So then even the adult, even the geriatric population can use it. We thought of to take it into the international schools for the children to learn the proper accent and along with the proper pictures to learn the vocabulary in a concrete way. We have also taken the vocab for the dysarthric to practice with in the motor speech disorders properly the pronunciations or the accent along with the pictures. We have also thought of why not the vocab can be taken for the therapy alone for cochlear implantis 
where the auditory verbal therapy, that is the AVT, is one of the mode. So we have in vocab also an AVT mode to use it for different frequency transpositions along with the learning of the vocabulary process. We have also thought to take vocab for all the level of users. That's why we have incorporated the vocab in such a way and we have made it such a way. They will have that steam in the software developers, they made it in such a way that it can be used by a psychologist, it can be used by the speech and language pathologist, it can be used by the speech scientist, it can be used by the special educators, it can be used by the teachers in the schools, it also can be used by the parents at home in ease. We have also thought that how to go about it, so to make it more practical for the children to play with. So that's how we incorporated it in a chat. It comes nearly a 20 GB program which you need to install in a tab and then there are several buttons comes on it of the vocabulary categories. So if I just look into it, into a vocabulary category of the fruits, I have, if I click on the fruits, I have different categories starts from the juicy food, dry food till the fruits used in the plant or as a vegetables. When I look into the juicy fruit, if I just click on the juicy fruit, I have many fruits, those which are really having juice and we use their juice by extracting the juice for drinking or many purpose. So you might say that that is I am using in my daily life. Oh yes, you are using it into daily life. That's definitely we all agree with it. But then how you will teach a child to use it in the daily life? What the child will know about it in the daily life? Suppose for example, if I choose the first one, which is talk about layman. If I just want to play the layman to know that how it is, then what happens over there is that when I choose the layman, the layman appears. Along with the layman appears over here. If my child doesn't like this picture, I have a mode. I can go back to the cartoon modes of the layman. And then if I want to make the child to know about a layman, I can give a practically a layman at home and make the child to fill it. But sometimes it may happen that it may not be in my brain or in my action that what should I teach to the child about the layman? Do I teach the shape? Do I teach the test? Do I teach what I can do with the layman? It may not be possible always because even if I teach once, I, it may not be possible for me to repeat it every day or maybe every moment for the child to learn, relearn and relearn and incorporate it within the brain and then Practically when I ask the child what is the use of the layman, the child demonstrate it. So that's why we have the different videos. When we go to different videos, we can play. We can always say that Lemon juice How the lemon juice look like, the child will know from the video. If we want to know, we can always go and say that Drinking lemon juice Someone is drinking lemon juice, that means the lemon juice we make is used for drink. Then, if we want to go, we can always say Lemon tastes sour. How the lemon tastes? It's a sour. So, what can be the expressions with it? So that can be done and the child can enjoy it visually. And the child might learn that facial expressions that, oh, it's sour but it's not sweet so if we go we can also say the child that how the lemon juice lemon is being made juice. we also have in the video incorporations that lemon has vitamin C the child may not be knowing or the parent may not be knowing it at that time that the lemon is a rich source of vitamin C so if Somewhere the child is being asked, can you name some fruit which has got vitamin C? The very common fruit is the layman. So the child might answer it in the layman has the vitamin C. And if a glass full of lemon juice. 
The lemon juice which we extract from the lemon may be only this much in quantity but it can be made also a glass full. So you see like this our videos are very very practical videos which makes a child to learn a whole concept of any of the vocabulary articles or the items we want to teach. Similarly, we have many many categories we have taken into considerations. We have taken into considerations the vocabularies like fruits, we have the food items where we have non-vegetarian, vegetarian food differently, we also have different drinks categories, we also have different vegetables, we also have animals, we also have jobs, we also have daily home articles, we also have alphabets, we have numbers, we have months, we have festivals, we also have different seasons, different weathers, we also have different categories of the sundries we use that is generally pen, pencil and all these things, articles. We have the stencils into our categories, we have the vehicles into our categories. Among the animals, we have the wild animal, we also have the domestic animal. We also have different kind of in the vehicles also, that is being mechanical vehicles as well as vehicles operated by the animals. So we tried, we tried, we tried into our first versions of the vocab to give a minimum to maximum exposures for a child of maybe say from one, one and a half years till the age of four or five, the child needs to know the vocabulary. But this also can be used with the different disorders as I mentioned for a person of adult as well as a geriatric. A person who has got stroke can also relearn through it and the practices can be done. But keep in mind one thing, this all practices has to be learned first through a speech and language pathologist or by a special educator. The speech and language pathologist know how to teach it and what the technique behind it and how to use it in the application for that particular disorders. You might think that I buy the vocab and I use it at home to teach my child as a vocabulary. You are correct. You can do it, but you can do it with a normal child. A child going to a normal English schools or a child going to international schools. A child or someone at home in the adults, those who doesn't have any vocabulary, those who doesn't know, I mean, how to write and read, can also learn through their auditions English language. But when there is a disorder comes into picture, a delayed speech and language or an autism, or maybe a stroke aphasia, or maybe a dysarthria, or maybe you know a child with a mentally challenge, or maybe uh, any any other disorders which we consider where there can be learning disabilities, we need to contact and speech and language pathologist to get it done at least few sessions. The speech and language pathologist also need to have a regular monitoring along with your vocab because the technical part behind it is better understood by them rather than a layman. The parents are educated. You parents know much more about maybe software developing. You parents may be knowing much more vocabulary. But keep in mind there are scientific stages for every children to learn every moment of their life that is starting from the motor abilities that is sitting, turning over, walking, standing, jumping, running, along with it also socializations. When to smile to a mother or father and when to smile to a stranger and when to start mingling with the same peer group. Similar way the speech also contains something which starts with birth cry, then come babbling, then come lalling, then come palilalia where the repetitions become small and then come the first word as a amma or mama and then it comes the slowly the syllables and then the words and then the phrases formations and then the sentences. So a speech language pathologist, a university graduate and postgraduates, they have the knowledges that what are the age appropriate that particular things occurs in a developing child. 
What happens? What goes wrong with a person when a person develops a stroke that is known as loss of language or aphasia? What happens? What goes wrong with a person who doesn't want to communicate that is an autistic child? And how the, to bring the child into a picture and to make the child a part of communicable that all is being known very well by a speech language pathologist. So, what I feel as per me that a vocab is really really a useful thing but recommended that you take the vocab, get first demonstration sessions done by a few speech language pathologists and then start your own.